How much do someone's political views matter when it comes to casual dating and why? What's the difference between casual dating and dating? We don't need to share every single belief, but we do need to share the same values and worldview. I see a lot of debate around American politics on this post. LOL. Seriously though, if someone has fundamental beliefs which would impact the way you live, the way you'd raise children or views on whether or not they'll have any, the role different people have in society and basically any life choice, it's better to know that your beliefs are incompatible while it's still casual. Relationships require compromise to work, but we all have things we will not compromise. There are some political opinions that can turn very ugly very quickly, if something goes wrong while casually dating. Abortion rights aren't something that's particularly safe to disagree about in a sexual relationship, even a casual dating one. The older I get the more I understand the big picture. Someone political views stem from their view of the world. And people tend to gravitate towards someone of the same political leaning. If beliefs were at odds with my partner, it would cause extra tension. Not because they vote differently but because those beliefs would bleed into every tiny decision in our lives and I don't think they would ever get where I'm coming from. I wouldn't feel truly heard or understood, and that would eventually would be too much for me. Political views of many people reflect their core values and it is also important to consider how opposing views they have to mine. Even casually dating, I have to stand being around this person for extended periods of time and usually politics reflect morals and I don't like being with b-holes. Some opinions are literally just a turn off. It's not a getting pissy thing, it's a I'm less attracted to you now thing. I couldn't casually date someone whose views are radically different than mine. I'd say a lot. Casual dating is how you find your long-term partner. You don't necessarily need to have the same opinions. But you do need to be on the same page as your partner about fundamental things such as politics, children, careers, monogamy or lack thereof, etc. Get it out of the way first. If you both accept each other's differences, then that's fine. However, if you cannot, then there's no point in wasting time just to be doomed in a failed relationship later down the road. Remember, you only get one shot at life. We disagree on foreign trade issues or domestic policy. No big deal. Some people don't deserve rights based on their gender or sexual orientation. Deal breaker. I think the answer to this question really depends on whether or not you are meaning casual dating as a euphemism for hooking up for sex. It didn't used to matter a whole lot to me. With the extremism going on now, it does. I'm queer, so if someone wants to date me but also voted for a politician who campaigns on taking my rights away, I'm gonna decline and be very confused. I'm seeing a lot of people in these comments who should not date each other lol. As a gay person, almost everything about how I date is politicized so yeah it would matter a lot. It's high up there for me. It's a cornerstone to a person's beliefs and perspective. It's a vital foundation for how a person interacts with those around him. It will affect how that person behaves, speaks, thinks, and acts with you. It will affect your future. You want a gun-free house, partner wants to build a gun collection. You want marriage, partner wants not. You want an abortion, partner believes abortion is evil. You want to smoke weed, partner is against it. Some opinions are incompatible. For example, strong views about religion. I would describe myself as holding a variety of opinions but mostly a left-leaning voter, surely more so before I met my husband, who mostly identifies with right-leaning views. I think we both learned a lot from each other and it has stimulated healthy growth. Different political opinions are fine what I won't tolerate is bigotry. No racists, no misogynists, no homophobes etc. I think when politics become about being a part of a say in women's bodies, who people marry, religion, and the endless amounts of other things that shouldn't be a part of politics, is when it becomes an issue. Because politics seem to pull these things out around elections to try and win votes instead of worrying about actual politics is when, shit goes haywire. Probably a lot. You don't want to be around someone who riles you up like that. 
although it depends on who you are and how you take certain things. Don't make any more fascists with your baby makers. This is, as all how much do politics matter questions on this subreddit, is dishonestly incomplete. I think the sales tax on marmoset fur hats should be increased by 0.5 is fine. I deny reality, don't think some people deserve human rights, and storm the capital when I lose an election but that's just my political belief can fuck right off. Never shag a Tory. A lot. As a woman, I won't date someone who is willing to trade my bodily autonomy for a tax cut. And I won't date a racist. Yes. Yes they matter a great deal. Depends how much of their personality is based on their political beliefs and if they are able to hold an adult conversation. If 90 of a person's personality is tied to politics, it's a red flag. A person's political views aren't just political views, they are an extension of their entire system of values and morals. The more casually you're seeing someone, the less important it is to share a value system, just because it's pee hard to date someone seriously when like, you know they'd let you die a gutter if the circumstances were right. I mean, would I date someone who would rather I die than get an abortion? No. My dad is a hardcore Republican and my mom is 100 Democrat. They have been that way since they were young and before they ever met each other. They just don't talk politics with each other. I could never ever date a Tory. It's actually very simple for me. I can't do thing because it goes against my beliefs is usually fine. You can't do thing because of my beliefs is not. I'm okay if we disagree about politics but I will not tolerate someone belittling me over who I voted for and constantly talking about politics when I ask them repeatedly not to. I'm not going to fuck a fascist. The term casual dating is kinda dumb don't you think? Like it implies that you're dating with no intention of staying with that person. Might as well skip straight to the breakup. Anyhow, I'd never end up dating someone with very different beliefs from myself, we just wouldn't get along. The people who disagree with me 100 without fail conduct themselves in ways that are visible from a mile away, no discussion of it required. It depends if their political view is going to affect my safety. Where were you on January 6th? If it's someone I'm having sex with, we have to have the same opinion on abortion. I also need to respect the person I'm with and if I find out they are racist, sexist, or homophobic, then I don't have any respect for them. Casual dating having sex. What are their thoughts about abortion? Boom big problem. Your political views are how you see the world. If your views are that some people are simply less human and less deserving of rights than others, that's a deal breaker. Why would I want to spend any time with someone like that? As an immigrant I'm not a huge fan of dating someone who thinks I'm a lazy scum who should go back to my own country so yeah, I'd say so. I don't associate with Nazis or Nazi sympathizers. Some political extremists will steamroll you into Bible paper. It matters big time. The two most important questions at the dinner are. 1. How old is the earth? 2. Who are your favorite YouTubers? It's not about their political views. It's about them being able to have a civil conversation and disagree with someone without flipping out. If their political views involve hate and bigotry, left or right, that's a note from me. I've dated outside my political affiliation, it was fine. That being said, I think going forward we'd have to agree on at least the big issues if we don't want to be fighting all the time. People who are extremely to the max either left or right. Look you do what you gotta but I'd back out of that smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. When they can force you to give birth, there is no such thing as casual dating. This thread is basically would you date a Republican? In disguise. 100. Your time is valuable, so why would you waste it on someone who fundamentally believes the opposite of what you do?